right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another SLG Meetup. Just came all the way to Kenya to get you another interesting life. I mean, I know that you guys will expect some giraffes in the background, not yet, but I'm super excited to have our guest today. His name is Andy Grisinger, and he is actually one of the top real estate agents in Charlotte, in North Carolina. Now, before we get going and tell a little bit more about him, I would like to emphasize that a lot of you have been asking, how can I get to know more about all these guests? How can I get more knowledge? And that's why we've been launching the Mastermind program where we get all these guests and also part of our experts in the SLG network to come and discuss in these Zoom sessions and in a one-on-one -on -one on different ways to really leverage your business. So today we're going to talk about Andy Griesinger's story, which by the way, he's also a member in our SLG network and we are super delighted to have him here with us today because his story is amazing and also what he's doing with social media, it's fantastic. My man. What's up, man? <laughs> what's, what's happening, Andy? Oh, how are you? You're always looking fresh, <laughs> the beard, the hair, the background, I love it. Thank I made sure to trim the beard just for you today. Ah, oh, wow. There you go. Thank you. I feel honored. I feel honored. <laughs> no, but look, it's a pleasure to have you here with us today. And obviously, from the first time we spoke, which we had you also in one of our IG lives, to now, a lot of things mm -hmm. have changed. Not just for you, but also in the marketing, Charlotte, and what you've been doing, transitioning to a different brokerage, leveling up, really, your social media, and doing all kinds of amazing things that we're going to discuss today. So thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, it's been a couple of years, I feel like, since we've been on here. I wish there <laughs> were way. some giraffes in the background, but this will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love that. How's the golf? How's the golf going? It's good, man. It's good. Next time I'm down in Miami, we're going to have to go play together. Tell me the impact on that social media effort that you've been putting in your business. It's changed my business and changed my life significantly in the last three years since I've started doing this. So I literally started at the beginning of COVID and putting out YouTube videos and putting out Instagram videos every single day, every week has been huge. I mean, it, the idea with YouTube is it's, it's Googleable, And so it's evergreen content that's always there. And in this, for us in a, in a city like Charlotte, there's a lot of people that are moving here every day and they want to learn about the city. And that's a good way to, to learn about that. Um, but I mean, some of the other pieces with the social media that's been great is you make a lot of friendships and relationships and you can network through social. Like I see Matt's on here and he's a buddy of mine from Atlanta. We met on clubhouse a, a year or two ago. And when he was in Charlotte last year, we got lunch together and we we're able to talk about business. Right. I mean, we met on, on social media and we've done That's this a couple right. of times and we almost got together in Miami last year, ah, but it, so close. <laughs> you jumped out of a plane instead, which is way uh, cooler. Well, listen, you, you'll join me <laughs> next time. But tell us a little bit about how, for example, transitioning now to this new brokerage EXP and, and the whole network and referral concept, how is this helping you in your business? Yeah. I mean, that was, was a big decision, right? I was at KW for five yeah. years before I moved over and, I really wanted to be able to be a small fish again. And I wanted to be able to enter into a new club or like different rooms that I had never been in before. And I wanted to have new goals to strive for based on some of the, the new peers that I'm surrounding myself with. So instead of being one of the top agents in the office, I wanted to be one of the middle of the road guys that people didn't really know much about because it gives me something to strive for. And yet, then, yet, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but it gives me something to strive for. And as, I, as I'm growing and trying to catch up to some of these guys that are doing hundreds and hundreds of sales or hundreds of millions of dollars worth of sales every year, you know, along the way, Instagram's going to get better. YouTube's going to get better. I'm going to do more speaking gigs and there's more opportunities for that. There's more opportunities to network and travel and meet more agents who are referral partners around the country. So there were a lot of reasons that, I decided to make that switch and I truly wanted to be able to open or have more doors that I could be opening. And that was a, a, the best way to do it. I wanted to touch base on education, right? Because one of the things that I see about you is that you're always investing in your education. You're always investing into, okay, Ryan Serhan, you're investing into SLG, you're investing into all these other things to elevate your knowledge, elevate your network. So 
how important it has been for you to be doing all these things? It's huge because I, I know that I'm not the smartest guy in the room. I know that I'm not the smartest real estate agent in, in Charlotte, in my office, in the US, any of that stuff. So there's people that are way smarter than me that know what's going on. And there are people who are doing way more deals than me that know what's going on too. And so investing in all of these different opportunities is ways to stay in front of people who truly know what's going on in our market and in the social media world and all of that. And you can start, you can start to get all of their opinions and I feel like as you're getting everyone's opinions, you need to understand where everyone's coming from. But as you're getting all of their different opinions, you can then start to form your own opinion and educate people in what you believe in based off of everything that you're hearing from all these other people. How important it is personal branding versus just your business brand? I think it's really important just because to me in the real estate space, people are hiring me, right? And if they like what they, if they like me, and they can see what I'm bringing to the table, then they're gonna to wanna to work with me. And the more people that can see that, the more people that we can work with. And so I think building out the personal brand is huge because then what happens is you wanna be known that every, every single time real estate comes up, you want people to be able to think about me. Think about this, right? I've been at bachelor parties where a lot of guys are wearing hats with this logo and some guy comes up to me, he's like, why does everybody have that? Like, what is that? And I'm like, that's, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> right. I love that. I love and so that. It, it's huge because there, it's such, real estate is such a crowded space, especially now with all the content creators that are out there. And so this is a good way to stand out and it's a good way to stay in front of people. And if you, mm -hmm. not just with a personal brand, with a logo or posting on Instagram or posting on YouTube, it goes deeper than that and making sure your events make sense that you're doing that your client appreciation events are, are good and making sure that your client appreciation gifts are really good. Yeah. Right. And that way you can become a household name. So how important it is for you to also showcase and connect on a lifestyle level. Um, I mean, I think the lifestyle also plays into the branding, right? Because I want people to know that I'm, in the know with what's going on in Charlotte. And so if they're, if they're coming here for the first time and they don't want to just see homes, they also want to have a good experience. Mm -hmm. And so the lifestyle piece of it is knowing where, if someone's mo moving here from New York city and they've been to Charlotte once or twice, and then they come into town, they want to see a bunch of homes and then they want to know, Hey, where should we go for dinner? And if you give them mm -hmm. a bad recommendation, it, you're, <laughs> you start losing that. I think it's a, uh, Daniel Daggers talks about this. He's out in, uh, in Europe. The UK. Yeah, he, he talks about having trust equity with people. And as soon as you start losing that trust equity, it's like harder to build it back up. And so to me, something as simple as saying, hey, this coffee shop is super cool. Or hey, go, if you like co good cocktails, go to this place. I've got a reservation already made for you. So you can go ahead and go. Or go to this restaurant because it's walkable to where you're staying. And then they have a good experience. It helps build the trust equity versus losing it. And so that's where I think having that, it plays into the lifestyle piece as well of being a real estate agent because it's more than just selling homes. It's also selling mm -hmm. lifestyle of where those homes are. Right. No, no. I, and I think that's fantastic. You explained it very well. And we'll put the quote of uh, Daniel right there. But I think it's fantastic, the trust equity. Now, tell me a bit about your favorite thing from Charlotte. For somebody that has never been there, what's your favorite thing to do? My favorite thing to do? Yeah. Mm. I, I love the cocktail lounges that we have here in town. There are some really cool ones. And it's just like, the vibe in there is really cool and it's just relaxing and you just feel good when you're in there. Um, I also just love the fact that we're two hours from the mountains and two, three, four hours from the beach, depending where, which beach you're going to. So, you know, we've got the high rises in uptown and then you're, you're 30 minutes from the lake. Right. So it's like, there's, there's a lot that you can do here. And, I'd say ultimately my favorite part of this city though, is the fact that, and someone just mentioned that it's a melting pot and that's exactly it. It's a melting pot because no one, there's a very small amount of people who are actually from Charlotte that live in Charlotte. And because of that, it drives a culture that has people actually excited to live here because it's not like they were born here, raised here. 
They went right. to school, they came back and they, they don't really want to be here. It's more people are here because they grew up in New York or they grew up in Chicago and they want to be here because they have a good job that's here. And now they like the lifestyle because there's a lot of good things going on here. So mm -hmm. I always tell people like, if you're, if you're bored here in Charlotte, like that's your own fault. <laughs> that's your own fault, yeah. <laughs> right? I love that, I love that. Well, listen, your trust equity remains high, so that's good. Mm -hmm. I, I have to go check it out for sure. But I wanted to ask you, right? This is a bit more personal, but all these years that you've been in the industry, if you will have to tell little Andy starting the real estate career again, what will be a big advice that you will give? Oh, man. I would almost say to start did, building did, a brand. Did you, have, did you have beer before when you started? <laughs> uh, I, I started growing it like two months in. So I didn't necessarily oh, yeah. have it like when I first started. And I could send you my first headshot. And it doesn't look oh, like well, one now. I would love to see it. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see it. But oh, carry on, carry on. Sorry. <laughs> I would say that the biggest advice would be start focusing on personal branding immediately. And not waiting. I waited about a year before I started really focusing on social media and everything. And I think a lot of the new agents who are focused on social media, it's a very good thing. But I also think that if you're if you don't like it, if you don't enjoy it, then don't focus on it. And, and so that's that's the one thing. Like I I started off doing open houses. I did them every single weekend for a year, a little bit over a year, and I just I hated doing them. And I wasn't very good at it. And then finally I stopped doing them and then the business started to grow. Huh. Interesting. So right. I would say so I, that's a I, good I wish I started earlier. Right. But, but also what you said in between, which is do what you love, right? And right. have somebody else do what you don't like doing. Delegation is key. Yeah. Because people get attracted to what you're passionate about. And you need to focus your energy on things that come not naturally, but that at least you show that passion or that energy doing into it. Otherwise it's killing the momentum. That, that's, no, good, good that's exactly it though, is pe people are attracted to people who are passionate. And if you're not passionate about something, they can tell. Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. Well, that's right, let's go. I wanna take people skydiving, that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> the, the next step is to land in the houses. So, hey, what's up? <laughs> That'd be pretty yes, cool. Yes, hide in the air. In the air. Yeah, <laughs> No, but that's, you know, it's a, a bit of a combination of everything that we talked about today, which I love the conversation because it's really combining the social media with the lifestyle, with the knowledge, and then with what you're passionate about. And when you combine all this mix together, it creates your own DNA that people get attracted to. And that's how you really build those relationships. So, no, great stuff. I just want to wrap it up by asking our million dollar question that we always put into everybody that does the SLG meetups, which is what is luxury to you? Oh man, to me, luxury is a lifestyle. It's, it's being able to be confident in what you're doing every single day and knowing that you're doing something that's beneficial every day as well. I think that being able to wake up and actually help people and live a lifestyle that you've always wanted to live. That's the, the, the true luxury and not just a big house or having a nice car or having a watch or whatever. I think it's, it's the combination of working hard and being able to actually achieve things that you want to achieve and being excited about that. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for all the great, I guess, advice, key points, knowledge, everything that you've been sharing today is amazing. I can't wait to see you, whether it's in Charlotte or if you're coming to Miami or Listen, join me in one of these trips. <laughs> That'll be fun. But, uh, you know, I'm really grateful for you. And I wanted to just make a quick announcement for everybody that is watching or listening, either now or later, that, you know, you are one of the nicest guys I've met in the industry. You are also a member of SLG. And we are putting together more of these mastermind programs where we bring together experts like yourself to talk about specific topics. So we're going to be launching and rolling more of these sessions where I would love you to be one of the panelists and it's going to be exciting. So for those that are interested, also check out what we have going on, but definitely make sure to follow Andy. He's the man. He's doing amazing. Love your content, brother. So keep on thriving and we'll speak very soon. Thanks, dude. Great to see you again. Thanks for having me on here. It's always a, it's always a treat. Absolutely, brother. Take care and thank everybody. Bye.